So as you can see, I'm on AdBright right, right now, um, and basically I'm here underneath the For Advertisers button, and I hit click the Create a New Campaign. Very simply, this is going to walk me through step by step on what I want to do to get this thing started. So um, I'm going to do a banner ad, like right there. I'm going to um, choose my category, because I don't want it to show in all categories. Um, I'm also going to need to make sure that my stuff shows in the United States only, which I that's important and uh, choose category so I'm gonna choose in this particular case uh, the same since I'm uh, doing the same um, easytrader.com I'm gonna use the same banner same everything if they allow me I have to double check I didn't check the size but um, hopefully I'll use the same banner if not I'll find another banner because there's several in the affiliate tools section for uh, Commission Junction there's just a ton of banners but anyway uh, that said I'm gonna use that uh, banner so I'm gonna do what am I gonna promote here to probably do, do, do. Arts and entertainment, no, 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 not lifestyle. Gonna have to be news and resources. I think that's the only thing that really kind of applies. I guess I could go people and social networking, but um, uh, as you can see, it's calculating the number of people or impressions that's possible per day over here. But uh, I think I'll just go ahead and stick with news and resources because I think that's a good keyword set. Um, I'm gonna enter the keywords. I'm gonna use the same keyword list that I previously used. Um, if it's still there, yes, it is. And I'm gonna paste that all in there. Hopefully, it'll. Fit. There we go. Um, got that all in there. So now I've got, uh, let's see here. It's going to obviously show on no adult sites, but it's also going to show on preferred sites. I can choose, pick and choose the sites I want it to be on. What's really cool about to add right is if you're seeing you're getting a lot of impressions from, say, a page that doesn't apply for you, apply to you. Like I had one one time that I was promoting a, you know, a uh, business opportunity kind of stuff. And it was uh, advertising on a website that was showing, um, like, TV shows like uh, anything on CBS or some other like Amazing Race things like that. Um, it was showing or Survivor, but that's the kind of set it was on. And so um, anyway, that's the, not really something I'd be focused on. Um, anyway, so um, that uh, would be a lot. Of, you can you can actually go back in later and, and uh, change things up if you like. Okay, so now we're showing on all all preferred sites. That's fine. Um, uh, I'm also going to do a mail only because I'm just. I'm making assumptions here about the demographic of options traders. Uh, I'm sure there's some female option traders out there, um, but I'm going to go ahead and say that a vast majority of those people are um, adults that are uh, male. So I'm also going to choose a demographic between the ages of 25 to, uh, I'll go ahead and stick it one more year to 64, but I seriously doubt somebody in there that's over the age of 65 will be sitting around doing options. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm just going to assume no. So now I can choose how many of my cost per click, or I can do pay per clicks. I can pay on a per click basis, or I can pay on a per impressions basis. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a per impressions basis, and I'm obviously going to have a budget less than uh, less than um, thirty cents. So um, the CPM is the cost per thousand. So I'm going to pay up to thirty cents per thousand impressions I get of that ad. I can increase this number. And if I do, I may land on some more interesting pages or pages that have higher traffic or that are more relevant to my ad, things like that. So um, those things are worth considering as you're moving forward. But consider this, that you're going to get, for every 1,000 views, you're going to pay 30 cents, thereabouts. So um, that's pretty good. Okay, on the next screen, it's going to ask us to upload an, a um, banner. I've already done that, but I'll, I'll kind of walk you through quickly on how I did it. Um, I just went ahead and selected the file, and I found that, that file on my desktop. I in, inserted it there. Um, actually, you know, to take a step back, um, I went um, into the CJ the site. Back in here, I had to go back to this box, and I had to find this ad, and then I had to right-click it to save the image as, and then it pulled down my stuff, and I saved it. So um, when I did that, I saved that there, and then I had to go down to the bottom down here to the code, and I had to take just the landing or the target code right here. That's what it is. I had to take that code right there and copy and paste that into my ad. So um, in order to get it to work, but um, the end result was that I uploaded this particular art, this particular ad right here, and um, that's all I needed to do in order to make it work. So that's it. Now all I need to do is just confirm my order and actually pay for it, and I'd be all done. So if you have any questions on how to upload a, a banner ad, it's very very easy. Just 
take the creative and put the you are the uh, your um, affiliate link right here in the destination URL and that's all there is to it so hopefully that I helped out talk to you soon